In this video, we'll learn about systematic listing strategies. They are all about possibilities, combinations. So when I'm asking this question, I've got three different tops. One is green, the other one is blue, and the other one is red. And I've got two pairs of trousers. One pair is black and the other one is red. What combinations are possible? I'm not too fussed about the colours, so I could wear any of the tops with any of the trousers. So I could have the green shirt with the black trousers. I could have the green shirt with the red trousers. I could have blue shirt with black trousers. that's blue and I could have blue shirt with red trousers I could have red shirt with black trousers and red shirt with red trousers so that's listing that's a systematic listing strategy that I've used I could also use a table so I could have shirts on one side and trousers on the other so trousers can be black or red and the shirts can be green blue or red so I'm using a table this time around but the outcomes should be the same so again that's straightforward so I just fill these in so I would have green shirt and black trousers green shirt and red trousers and so on so all of these would fit into this another method i could use or another strategy i could use to represent all these possible outcomes would be through a tree so I can have the shirts, so green shirt, blue shirt and red shirt. There are two possibilities. I could wear green shirt with black trousers or red trousers and same thing for the blue shirt I could have it with black trousers or red trousers and the red shirt I could have with black trousers and red trousers so again, as a final thing, I could have green shirt with black trousers, green shirt with red trousers, and so on. So when it comes to the total number of possible outcomes, all you have to do is multiply them. So there are three possibilities for the shirts, because there are three colours, and there are two for the trousers so three times two gives us six and you could see that there are six possibilities six combinations so let's take another example children in a school they given the option of having two different main meals and they could have five desserts any of them five and 
three different drinks. So they can have only one main meal, one dessert and one drink, but they can combine them as they wish. So to work out the total number of combinations, all we have to do is two times five times three. So two times five is 10 times three is 30. So there are 30 combinations in total. If you then given details in terms of which main meals, which desserts and which drinks, you could list them systematically using lists, using tables, using diagrams or tree diagrams.